Now, top English-speaking musicians like Justin Bieber, Lil Nix and Liam Payne are getting in on the action too, teaming up with Spanish superstars. But what if some reggaeton or salsa is blaring out when you're on the dance floor and you don't even know how to say two feet in Spanish? Here now to teach you how to move to a Latin groove is salsa teacher Amanda Hawley from Todo Latino. <laughs> Amanda, I turn on the radio at the moment and I hear Spanish vibes everywhere. Are you seeing that too, this sensation for Spanish music? It was really bizarre when we first started hearing things coming out of like Radio 2 when you were in the ho at home. You think, oh my goodness, you, you know, that's You think, you, you think you're accidentally picking up Spanish frequencies or yeah, something like that? Yeah, so it, it is great and it definitely helps attract people to come in and have a look. What do you love about salsa? What is your selling point when you tell people about it? I just think it's totally inclusive. So we teach a really inclusive style. So. Um, we're not about performance, we're not about competition, we're just about everybody being able to meet up and dance and enjoy. And you can dance with like 100 people in an evening and meet loads of new people. It's a great way of getting Pro to know people. 100 people, you probably forget a lot of names, but. <laughs> yeah, we don't really do names that often. Right. It's more like, hi, would you like to dance? Yes, please. Like, well, lovely, thank you very much. <laughs> Todo Latino, what is it? Who are you and what do you do? So we, we're based in Nottingham. Um, I teach predominantly in Nottingham, but also all around the country. Um, we teach Cuban salsa chata from the Dominican Republic and some merengue other bits as well so mainly big group classes mm. predominantly adults we have six levels so we always have like bite size levels for people so you're never kind of in with people who are way above you or way below you um, I've got students I've had for over 10 years who keep coming we're changing all the time and evolving um, and we're seeing more and more people from different levels of ability so we've got some flying students some really? people in their 80s we've got people who have like social anxiety because we are very much about everyone being able to have a go. We get everyone. So these are people from all different backgrounds, Absolutely. blind people, older people. Yep. Our youngest is 14 at the moment wow. and our eldest is 84. That is a heck of a difference. Yeah. What is it about salsa that speaks to people, brings them out of their shells and gets them loving life? I think the music's an initial attraction, um, but once they come to class and realise that actually there's a pattern to everything mm. and it's not about having to be really creative or being really flamboyant, that there is a definite structure to the music and a definite structure to the steps. Obviously we start little baby steps yeah. and then we expand and you can become, you know, as, as um, outgoing as you want to be or not, but everyone follows the same structure. I think that's the thing, sometimes you see people on TV, you see people in public places and they're flinging their arms about, they yeah. look like it's the most natural thing in the world. But if you want to start as a beginner, how do you, what is, how do you start, how do you get into it? You come to a beginner's class. Yeah. Um, we do an eight week beginner's course. So on week one of that beginner's course, you can guarantee that you are going to be in the same place as everyone else. Everyone's going to be a little bit nervous, excited. It might be not be their first time of trying to come in, but because everyone's together, we go step by step. And over that eight weeks, you learn your basic 16 techniques. All right, you've mentioned baby steps, and <laughs> I think I think probably newborn steps for, for what we're about okay. to do here. But I wondered if you could teach teach us some salsa yep. to me, to so the people sure. watching at home. Would either of you like to get in on the action, the salsa Smooth action? What are we saying? Uh, Alice is game. <laughs> Kickboxing, salsa. <laughs> Alice Young <laughs> is up for anything. <laughs> All right, I think we can get some music going and okay. talk us through. So just need you to think about walking. Walking, that's yeah. easy. Yeah. I'll do that. So exactly the same as way as you walk, you're going to transition your weight from one foot to the other. Okay. And then you're going to have a little rest. So we're going to start on our left. Yes. So we're going to step left, right, left. And then right, right, right left, left, right. right. Soften your knees a little bit. Let your Soften shoulders relax. Soften my knees relax. a little bit. I feel like I'm locking them a little yeah, bit. I've got like them. sticks on You've the end of my... You've got to have a little bit of bend. So okay. as you step left, you're going to step, step together. Ooh. And then you rest and come out, step. Together. The and resting again. part's easy. The left, yeah, that's usually the bit that people try and avoid. But it's the best bit. So as you go onto your left foot, this will yeah. always be your first step, and then you go onto your right, so where's your fifth step? So we step steadily. One, two, three, and five, six. Have you got that one? We've got I it, we've nailed it. I, I feel think. like you're like my shadow, we're definitely on this. Do you, you've got the right <laughs> position, you're managing yeah, to copy yeah. it, yeah. <laughs> Exactly the same pattern, so every yeah. single step has the same pattern. So you take a We are going to keep salsa in. You're going to keep teaching me some <laughs> lessons. Todo Latina Salsa Sensation. Thank you for watching. See you later.